Courtney here. Now, I'm not going to be presumptuous and assume that I am your favorite hair historian, but if you're subscribed to this channel, then I at least hope that I fall into the range of your second or third favorite. And as your second or third favorite hair historian, I have a small favor to ask of you. You see, in the description box of this video, you will find a link to a petition called The Crown Act, and I would like you to sign it as soon as this video is over. Don't worry though, I will explain why it's so vital, but first go ahead and take a quick moment to open that link in a new tab so that you don't forget. I'll wait. Very good. Our country, and indeed our world, has a long and disgusting history of hair discrimination. A history that we will be discussing in depth in future videos on this channel. But before we really get into the meat of these difficult conversations, I want to remind all of you that hair discrimination is not just a thing of the past, and history is forever ongoing. We simply cannot, in good conscience, look upon the sins of the past with disdain and yet fail to do the work towards making sure that things are better today. Did you know that right now, in this, the year 2021, it is completely legal in 43 out of 50 US states for workplaces to discriminate against black folks because of the natural texture of their hair. Not only is this an egregious source of social injustice, but when women and men can be sent home, denied promotions, or even outright fired just because of the way their hair naturally grows out of their head, this can translate to real, tangible economic consequences for black people. And that, as you may have guessed, is where the Crown Act comes in. The Crown Act seeks to create a respectful and open world for natural hair. Essentially, the Crown Act expands the definition of race discrimination to include hair textures and protective styles that are associated with race. You may think that hair texture would be an obvious thing to protect, second only to skin color perhaps, but you would be dead wrong. The first state to even pass the Crown Act was California, and they only just passed the bill in 2019. And before we do go any further, yes, for the purposes of this video, I am specifically talking about the US, but you do not have to be in the US in order to sign this petition. And I implore you to look up anti-discrimination laws in your country as well to see if natural hair texture is protected. Now that we've got that caveat out of the way, I want you to look at this map. The states in blue are the ones who have already passed the Crown Act. The yellow states have already filed or pre-filed for 2021, but if we know anything about American politics, we know that a law being filed does not in any way, shape, or form guarantee that it will actually pass. Let's take my area for example. I live within the Kansas City metro, which serves as a bit of a bridge between Kansas and Missouri. Just a few short months ago, we finally got the Crown Act passed, but only at a city level in Kansas City, Missouri alone. The states of Kansas and Missouri, on the other hand, both filed the Crown Act last year and it did not pass in either state. I love a lot of things about Kansas and Kansas City, but that is disgraceful. So in summary, if you believe that Black Lives Matter and you should believe that Black Lives Matter, at the very least take 10 seconds of your day to sign the petition to help us reach the current goal of 300,000 signatures. If you consider yourself an ally, then please consider taking it even a step further to call or write your lawmakers and put pressure on them to, pra to, pras to pass the Crown Act in your state because it is absolutely vital. It cannot wait any longer. It needs to happen this year. Press the cow act. Cow. Press the cow, indeed. Now, I live in Kansas and I grew up in South Dakota, so I know a thing or two 
about cows, having worked with a few cows very closely, uh, on a personal level. But this Midwestern gal also knows how to don a crown. And indeed, we must protect the crown for all of our black sisters and brothers. I will be talking about more active ways to help very soon, so please subscribe so you don't miss those videos, and please comment to let me know that you signed the petition so that I can thank you individually. And if you have any further questions about the Crown Act and why protecting natural hair texture is so incredibly important, please leave it down below, and as long as you seem to be asking in good faith, I will do my best to answer your questions either in a comment or addressed in a future video. I want to give a huge thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Seriously though, sign the petition, share this video, give me a like, let's try to get this video some proper traction because it is just so important. I'll wait.